good morning this is september 22nd and we are in bbis first year english class this is friday and this is the second session of our class so uh the recording in the previous class stopped abruptly due to some technical problem but we had uh, completed talking a segment in the previous recording for example we talked about taking notes while we read and we talked about uh interactive reading we said that as we read we underline we highlight and we annotate uh, the information that we scan now we are starting the essay reading so you can see the title of the essay is where do we stand earlier we focused on the key words of the title uh, where and we stand and we we also noted that the author the writer of the essay is a female author right okay now we move ahead with reading so you will see that uh, before the essay starts there is a short note there is a short note as you can see it here and this note gives some information about the genre of the reading about the writer writer's background and the container in which this article or this text was originally published for example we know that the essay we are going to read is an article what is an article normally we call article that is a scholarly piece of writing which deals with an academic subject for example you may have an article in a science magazine then we learn about the name of the writer lisa davis then we know something about her we learn that she is a freelance writer so who is a freelance writer one who is not typically associated with any organization as an employee from where is she she belongs to united states she is an american author and then we read what this text focuses on we read that this article focuses on cultural differences in the use of personal space how people use personal space around their bodies from in different cultures one type of non verbal communication so the use of personal space is one type of non verbal communication that means we can communicate our ideas attitude and views by the way we use space and the problem so there are when there are differences in the way people use space they may also result in problems right and then we read that this article was originally published in a magazine and the title of the magazine was in health and this article was published in 1990 so in this introduction to the reading we know when this article was published we also know where this article was published then we know who wrote this article and then we also know about what is this article right so much useful information so you should read the introduction to the article before you begin reading the article because it prepares you mentally to expect certain kind of information as you read let's move ahead now we'll read before i read this 
first paragraph let me tell you that this article is this article is an argumentative writing it is an argumentative writing that means this article presents or makes an argument now when you read an argument there are some elements of an argument so i'll say that first you focus on the situation or occasion or the context in the writing so when you say situation i mean ask a question like who is speaking or in the article to whom are they speaking then where are they situated where are they situated and then what are they doing let's read and answer these questions call it the dance of the jet set the diplomats tango a man from the middle east say falls into conversation with an american becomes animated takes a step forward the american makes a slight postural adjustment shifts his feet is his backward a little more talk and the arab advances a little more talk and the american retreats by the end of the cocktail party says mildred east she says middle east expert peter bektor of the state department's foreign service institute you have an american in each corner of the room because that's as far as they can back up so let's analyze the situation in this paragraph so first who is speaking so let's say let's say there is a narrator who is telling us things here besides that let's ask a question like who are the people here a second question and let's answer the question we read that there is a man from the middle east and also there is an american so there is a minister and there is an american who are speaking or who are the people then we have the question to whom are they speaking now we read here falls a middle a man from middle east falls into conversation with an american so a man from the middle east is speaking to an american 
a man from the Middle East is speaking to an American. Then we have a question, where are they situated? So we read here that it's a cocktail party. Now, there is a man from the Middle East and there is an American. That means there are people from different countries and it's a party. So most probably it is an international business party. We guess, we guess that the situation is there is an international business uh, conference, let's say, and after the conference or program, they have a party, and there are people from many countries, and here we see a person from Middle East having a conversation with a person from America. So where are they situated? They are in an international cocktail party. What are they doing? So they are drinking, they are talking, they are partying. Now we understand that the first paragraph shows us people having conversation in a party, right? So public place. Now let's ask a question. Uh, what happens in this situation? So we read that a man from the Middle East falls into conversation with an American, we understand that, becomes animated, the Middle Eastern is very happy to talk to the American, so what does he do? He steps forward, he goes closer to the American while having the conversation, he goes closer to the American, look how the Middle Eastern uses space. He steps forward. Now, how does the American react? The American makes a slight postural adjustment. What do you mean by that postural adjustment? The, when the Arabian, the Middle Easterner, comes closer to the American, the American adjusts his body posture to make sure that he doesn't touch him or the Arabian doesn't touch him. To avoid being touched, what does the American do? What does he do? The American shifts his feet and edges backward. The Middle Eastern steps forward and the American edges backward. See the cultural difference in the way the Middle Easterner uses public space in conversation and the American uses public space in conversation. The Middle Easterner prefers coming closer to the person he's talking to, whereas the American prefers uh, maintaining a distance between the two people. A little more talk, okay. They talk further and the Arab advances further. The, the Middle Eastern person comes even closer. A little more talk and the American retreats. So do you see the Arab moves forward toward the American and the American moves backward away from the Arab. Why? Because the Arab wants to come close to the American. The American wants to maintain a distance. Because Americans maintain a distance in public place while having conversation, whereas Arabs prefer coming close when they talk to someone. 
a little more talk and the Arab advances, a little more talk and the American retreats. By the, now let me erase this commentary and move again. By the end of the cocktail party, says Middle East, East expert Peter Bechtold of the State Department's Foreign Service Institute, you have an American in each corner of the room because that's as far as they can back up. A remarkable thing I like to indicate, point to here is, do you see this inverted comma here? It opens there and it closes here. This sentence by the end of the cocktail party, then it opens again here. You have an American uh, in each corner of the room because that's as far as they can back up. In this paragraph, let's say it is Lisa Davis who is speaking or let's say it is the essayist who is speaking or let's say it is the narrator who is telling us this story to us and as the writer describes a scene, a drama, a drama, there is a cocktail party, there is an American, there is um, an Arab, a drama. And now what do you see here? Here is opening in a word comma and then closing in a word comma and a statement. So here is a quotation. Now, why do you think Lisa Davis is bringing this statement by quoting it directly? Now, here you see a feature, you see a feature of academic writing. What is that feature? In academic writing, Writers make a point, they make a point, then they bring other people's views to support their Point. For example, in the first one, two, three, four, four lines, Lisa Davis portrays a dramatic scene and then she quotes Peter Bechtold. Who is Peter Bechtold? Peter Bechtold belongs to State Department's Foreign Service Institute, American State Department's Foreign Service Institute. So, Peter Bechtold is an official from the American government. So, Peter Bechtold is an authority. And Lisa Davis quotes his ideas to support her point. By the end of the cocktail party, you have an American in each corner of the room because that's as far as they can back up. This is a story which Lisa Davis is telling us in the first paragraph. What happens in stories, if you see, what happens in stories? In a story, you begin with a normal situation. As you see, an Arab is drinking and having a conversation with an American. Normal, no problem. Then, someone does something. The Arab steps forward. This triggers a reaction. 
द अमेरिकन एज इज बैकवर्ड नाउ देर appears conflict so do you see by the end of the party there is an american in each corner of the room so we have this room here is an american here is an american here is an american let's say because the arabs approach them americans step backward and they go into the corner so what do you see you already have an indication that problem is rising in that party and if you read the next paragraph probably will know what the problem but before we go to the next paragraph let me tell you some other things 